reunion. Far beneath the ocean I half sit and half float, water in my lungs instead of air, as I await the night in its cool embrace, to once again rise up towards the sky and take to the air. The abysmal depths kept me safe from the day that seems to look for me wherever I go, wanting to smother me with her hot caress. Down here the only light comes from the creatures of the deep, and yet it is enough to see and appreciate the beauty a thousand leagues under the sea. I feel it's time and I slowly rise to the night, through the endless depths, to seek my lover the night and her sweet caress. The light now becomes as bright as the day to some, and I break the surface and rise up slowly towards the yellow moon, leaving my wet haven far below, as my feet touch the towering cliffs, reaching for the stars. The hunger whispers to me of its need, and obeying I rise for the city to the west, as the cool night breeze quickly dries my naked skin. The alley awaits lonely far below, and I touch down lightly as I listen for the prey, and still like a statue I hear a faint scream ahead, accompanied by moaning and I run, my naked feet barely touching the ice cold snow. I find the source and my fangs extend as excited I crouch. I watch as the now muffled screams by a dirty sweaty hand are punctuated by the moans of the heavy set man with a prey of his own. I heard her heartbeat fifty paces away and his as well as he thrusts inside her shaky form and see helpless takes the pounding tired of screaming to the night with no one that cares enough to come and see who is in pain. I smell his smell of death and decay and know that I found my prey, as he not knowing he is already dead, continues with his work clueless to the fact that I'm standing but a couple of feet away. He turns as I on purpose kick a rock out of the way, and a blade flashes in his hand as he pulls away from the girl who just sits there on the bloody snow, mouth open and at a loss for what to say. She looks at the naked men in the dirty alley confronting her rapist with nothing but a smile as the moonlight reflects his sharp white fangs and lights his golden hair over a body wrapped in muscle and looking as if it's ready for what may come its way. The man runs towards me, noisy and slow, as I quickly turn and hit him in the blade arm, breaking it quickly as his blade finds my hand and I slice as he falls to the snow. The girl stares and I order her to leave. She finally finds her senses and gathers her ripped clothes and finding the strength gets to her feet. I bend over the man alive still and I find his neck as my sharp fangs quickly sink in. I drain him to the last drop and his soul finally leaves as a dead husk of what used to be a man now lifeless lies at my feet. I find his purse heavy with gold and quickly find the girl still running in the deserted street. I touch down lightly in front of her path, and before she screams I cup her mouth and I tell her it's all right, and she nods as I release her arm. I give her the heavy purse and quickly leave as she rapidly recedes in the dirty streets below that now have one less predator in their midst. The city fades like a bad dream and I rise higher and higher until below me a sea of clouds hides everything but the stars above, the moon and me. My home awaits far to the east, deep inside a mountain towering over a jungle that spreads as far as the eye can see. I find the waterfall that leads to the cave's door and I spot a naked form sitting atop a rock as the water cascades down her luscious shape and her eyes close with her head tilted back and enjoys the cool treat as I lightly touch the moss covered rock close to her feet. Her eyes fly open and a smile paints her ruby red lips. Jason, she whispers as I too smile and the goddess Maya slowly rises to her feet. I go to her and pull her close under the thunder of the falls and we kiss. 
We love on the rocks as the water falls in our naked forms. And she, moan, she moans as I whisper my love. And she in turn whispers a welcome home to her old lover that she dearly missed. 